What's up everybody and happy Memorial Day weekend. I don't know when you'll be seeing this, but it's Memorial Day weekend and I got my dad out here on one of our favorite lakes and check this out. I don't know if you can see that right there, but that box says panfish. And we are doing something we don't do a lot and that is trying to catch us some big bluegill, big shell cracker to have us a fish fry. We got some eagle claw hooks. We got some crickets. Where are the bill dance worms? Show, show the bill dance worms. This is my favorite thing ever. This is when you know you've made it in life, when you got the dancing rascals red worms endorsed by Bill Dance. But the coolest thing about this is we are gonna be high tech rednecks today. We're gonna take the Garmin's and we're gonna use side view to find bluegill beds that are a little deeper than what most people fish. We're gonna use a little drop shot. We're gonna go see if we can catch some big bluegill. Here we go. I don't know how, if you can see that at all, but uh, big bluegill bed right here. I'm using side view up front on the trolling motor to find them right here. Oh yeah, there's big bed right there. Got him, baby. I can't tell because my reel is all jank. Dude, this is my bluegill reel. Yeah, it's a good one. I only catch good ones, boy. I only catch good ones, boy. <laughs> oh, eater. Ah, don't run from me, Sally. Look at that. See you, buddy. All right, that's the bluegill setup. A little drop shot, a little eagle claw, laser sharp, drop shot weight. It's like a eighth ounce or something. A little eagle claw hook and a red worm, baby. The dancing... Red worms, the Bill Dance Signature Series Red Worms. We found some on the side view out off this point. That's what we're doing. I got a, this is an old castaway rod that dad forgot that he had and has been in my garage and he was not happy to find out that I had it. Tennessee handle, that's when you tape it on and this is a, uh, some kind of reel. I don't even know what brand it is, Quantum reel. This is the uh, pond rod. Most of the time, four pound line. I think, unless that's just gravel. It looks like freaking beds, but it could be just gravel. And there they are. There they are. Big old beds right there. Really? Good one too, ain't it? So good one. Something to throw back up in there. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and if this goes down again, I'm calling bull crap on the cricket brigade here. You got him again. Are you kidding me? Get away from where we at. We're right there. <sighs> yeah, this big hat man. Dude, I'm throwing my red worm all in them. <laughs> I did. Oh, we come off. Dang it. We suck. We suck again. We can lock her down right here. This is it, huh? You got one. <laughs> Is that a big one? Shell cracker, ain't it? Dang, Ray, boy. <laughs> yeah, boy. This is just stupid at this point, really. Doubled up, buttercup. I got one on the old droppy shot. Think he'll throw that one back? That one's gotta go back too, don't he? Pretty though. I like it when they don't take all my worm. A little eagle claw to the side of the face. We're going to throw him back. Doubles. Doubles. 
located them out here in the outer depth, son. Got him. No, 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 no. <laughs> he took my rod down. <laughs> that one hit it on the way down the fall. <laughs> that gum it. <laughs> you got one? Yeah. I got a good one, please. No. Nope. He needs a louder motor. If he could get a louder motor. <laughs> when the decibels are that bad right here, I can't imagine what they sound like in his ear. I kind of got a good little thing going right here. I got them lined up now, boy. What are you talking about, your box? You can throw. Deeper. It is deeper. It's where it starts to taper off. Mm, I knew there was a problem that cast. And they was biting at me, but I didn't know it. <laughs> now, I want y'all, this is a first rate poacher right here. Watch this. I sit down, sends it right to the goods. Lordy mercy. So I wonder, y'all always hear me talking about Hudson being a poacher. This is where he gets it from his granddad, right there. I'm just right out here. It's where I marked that one. God, oh, I do got him. He's just running, 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 running. It don't feel like a big one, though, no, though. No. It's not. Drag don't really set on this reel in case y'all are wondering. Oh my gosh, there's a giant bluegill under. Did, did you see how big that bluegill was? Trying to get, he was trying to get, he was trying to get to game cricket or something, dude. <laughs> that, that thing was like a pound and a half. Huge. Keeper? I mean, here we go. This is what they do to your drop shot, unfortunately. Yeah, that's a little angry. Right? They wind it up. That actually broke my line, so that was convenient. Uh -huh. I'm gonna show you how to tie on a drop shot, in case you don't know. You just wanna tie a Palomar knot. Forgive all the uh, red wiggler dirt on my hands. But you're gonna run your line in the eyelet and then back through and you're gonna make a loop. Tie your Palomar. Always wet your knots. Got to wet them knots. And that's it. Right there. And then you got this big long tag in. I find my drop shot weight again. That's what I'm going to put on it. Don't know where, I don't know where it went. There it is. Right there. So I like these little laser sharp drop shot weights because they got this right here. Run your line in there, pull it up tight, and you're done. Just like that, quick and easy. And I use that for bass, and now, you know, out here on the bluegill tour. That's a better one, I believe. Yeah, Hutton's head shaking, boy. I don't know. This reel is truly a piece of junk. Ooh, nice and... Little big gill there. He uh got my cricket. I'm gonna do surgery. Buckets. We have got them located now, Pop. That's a good one too. Old junkie reel. Whoa. Whoa, 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 boys. This could be the lunker of the day. Right here. Dude. I ain't have one fight like this. Whoa, look at that big bubba right there. Go, look at a big old thick head right there now. Chop shot, look at that. Oh, good. <laughs> Dude, I was awesome. Oh, sorry. Look like Shaq shooting a free throw. 
sit down to re-rig again. The vulture's back. Look at him. Get those little ones out of there so I can so I can catch them, man. <laughs> I got nailed, man. I hadn't got them. Well, they're anywhere from where. I thought you just said you weren't in the right spot. Well, I moved, buddy. <laughs> Dude, that looks like a better one. It's not. I mean, it's a That's a good one. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> yeah, it's the best one of the day, dude. Nice little. little one. Yep, it's a little one. I hope I ain't got it big. Ain't that little? It's got bigger. They got a bug eye. I saw that. <laughs> got him. Oh, this is some action so fast. That's pretty good, I think. Is it? That's pretty good one. <laughs> Pops and the bobber are working on them right now in the crickets. Beat me in the drop shot. Threw in my spot. No, I threw back in my spot. <laughs> There's a difference. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I was I was fan casting around while you were invading. The hole, Hudson. Dang, look at them good on that sucker. Jumbos, baby. Juicy jumbos. Are you hooked up? Doubled up? We're not going out. Kobe. Up here re-rigging. And there he goes again. That one, that one won't make the team. That one's not going to make the he didn't team. Get the cricket though. That's good. That's good. Oh, just had him bite me on the fall. So truly, we would not find these without graphing. You wouldn't catch these. So we've got, we found these earlier, idling. And I got my side view set up up here with my map, and I made me a waypoint. Come right back to it. See you, buddy. Bye. He's leaving. Your float went under, sir. That thing just slowly sinks in there on them. That's the thing. Like, it eventually gets there and they're on it. Is that a bigger one? Got him? It's the bobber, dude. Yeah, they just ain't eating this nut, this red one. I'm gonna switch up. If this is a big one, that's pretty good one. That one built like a five-pound bass, dude. On a shaky head. Ooh. Oh, head shaker. Head shaker. Dude. Need a net. I might need a net on this one, son. I ain't kidding, dude. You think? Yeah, it's fighting like a cat. Oh, cat daddy boy. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo. Woo. There's some more just that size. Oh, four pound. Day, four pound line. Four pound line. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> Damn. Damn, man. I'm a oh, man. I was getting the hush puppies ready, dude. Idiot move, Luke. What? Tell me. Let's see it. Let's see it. Gordon. Where I'm throwing to and where I'm catching them. Juicy right jumbos. I, I'm all about this catfish life. I'm, I'm going to try that again. Well, I wish you could pull that Yeah. It was a little channel, wasn't it? Yeah. Good to eat. Oh. 
Huh? 21. 21. We got one limit. We can keep 20 a person. It's a little one. I gotta change camera batteries. Don't be catching giant. Oh my god! Was he after dude, him? no, there were th there were like three of them that big, dude. They were huge after that How one. Did we catch them? I don't know, but that they were giants, dude. Giants. Okay. Let's see. I got bit again right there. I don't know what it was, but he took my dang worm. Yeah. Uh oh. Biden's headed to the Gulf. Like a tarpon. I'm scared he's gonna get eaten by them. Juicy jumbos? <laughs> Those others were giants, man. I'm seeing some swimming around on panoptics. I swear it could be them bigger ones. Now this is in my catfish hole. So I don't know. It's feeling like a bluegill though. Feeling like a bigger bluegill, but Ooh, 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 daddy found some shell crackers. <laughs> and so I'm like, don't you, don't throw over there. Do not. I ain't got no hook. Good. There we go, baby. That's what we're looking for right there. That hits the skillet. This is what we're talking about right here. In the bucket. All right. Now we found these graphing. Like I said. And I mean, I know some of y'all watching this are like, hey man, I don't have electronics. Obviously, you can still catch them. You just got to fish for them and you got to look at your mapping or a paper map or whatever. But these are on a high spot and they're going to find that hard bottom just like bass. Just like what I was talking about with the shad spawn the other day. That's what they're going to spawn around. So, But you got to fish around a little bit if you don't have electronics. But on these deeper ones. Now, sometimes you can go up in the backs of pockets and visually see the beds. But we're actually seeing them on the electronics. High tech rednecking. You know, guys, I'd like to take credit for this, but I got to give a big shout out to my man Bill. <laughs> He's dancing rascals right here. Bill, if you're watching, he I know you. He raises them. I bet side. he does raise these and he talks to them at night like people talk to plants. But I know Jimmy Houston follows me on YouTube. And Jimmy's my buddy. But Bill, if you're watching, I mean, get at your boy. Send us uh send us something for these dancing send rascals. Us a yeah, send us a. Yeah, dancing. yeah. We need a dancing rascal hat, Bill. Come on, Bill. I'm home. I'm home where I was catching them dang cat daddies. Show you a little trick that I've learned over the years. If you tie your drop shot on and your hook's upside down like that right there, before you put your weight on, Take the tag end of the line and run it right back through the eyelet of the hook. Grab it and pull it and whoosh, it flips that hook over. Because you want that hook up, that way when they grab it, they get stuck right in their baby faces. If it gets to that spot, you're getting beat. Yeah, no doubt. That's a good one. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Dang it. Dude. I think that's 27. I don't know. I may be cheating. Well, it broke off again. It's the same place. I didn't mean to. Well, I've broke off again. So I'm retying my drop shot. And Dad is waylaying them over my shoulder oh <laughs> jumbos baby juicy jumbos it's 29.99 quantum that i've had for years needs some needs some work darian uses this stuff you think he could you know maybe get me a refund or something can't even believe i would use something that he uses Yeah. I can't tell he's running at me. I don't think so. Golly, it's the one chasing him. 
Again. Again. Pretty good. Thirty, baby. Can't catch up with it. That's the trick right there, I'll just tell you, buddy. It ain't a big enough. It's a nice one, it ain't. Ain't a keeper, is it? What do you think? Uh, he's close, is he? Look deep. Mm -mm. Right in the corner of the mouth. We need ten more for the bear. Oh, I done got it figured out now. Oh, good. About that. And better one? What are you doing up here? Good. Got him? You do have him or you don't? I do, but he ain't very big. I don't think. He may be a little bigger than I think. Look at the fish with You know what that was? Oh. Gizzard shed. Giant gizzards. Chasing that thing in. I swear that's what that was. Maybe. That's what it looked like. It wasn't their mega bluegill. I think they're mega bluegill. 33. No, they're not. Oh boy. Tell you if this is a bluegill, it is the biggest one we've caught. It's a bluegill. This <laughs> is the line singing in that rod, dude. He's just mean. It happens to also be pretty thick. That, my friends, is a pan fish. Oh boy. Oh boy. Charlie Mutter. Charlie Mutter. Juicy Jumbo. Juicy Jumbo. Look at it. Yeah, that's a good one, dude. That is, listen, you question it, but me and Bill Dance only catch big ones. That's it. That's a big old knot-headed sucker right here. Oh, knot-headed, look at him. Oh, yeah. Oh, knot-headed. Open him up there, boy. Booyah! 35. 35. Fiber, under. That's a good one. It's a good one. 35, right? 36. 36. Whew, my count's getting off. Gonna get a ticket, boy. Come on, 40. Do it. Ah, it's 40. That's 40. It's 40. Game over. 40. Now, if we just had somebody to clean them. That's all she wrote for the Memorial Day Bluegill Smackdown with Dad. Even got one catfish. We're back here at the house fixing to get out a Bubba Blade and go to swiping through them. But I can tell you right now, we were high teching. We found them on uh, the side view with the Garmin's, and it was pretty fun. It's the first time I've ever really done that. What do you think, Dad? I think it was great. He thinks it was great. He outfished me, which is no surprise to any of you that watch the channel. I get beat by everybody that goes, look, sneak peek, boats and pros boat right over there behind me. All right, we will see you guys soon. I hope you had a great Memorial Day weekend. Drop me a comment below if you like to eat bluegill, because that's what we're fixing to do. We're fixing to clean them, then we're going to make some hush puppies, and then we're going to feast. See y'all soon. Thank y'all so much for watching the Bluegill Beatdown. If you like what you see on the channel, make sure you go right here in this area and hit the subscribe button. And if you want to see the last video we did, which is right here, click right there. Thank y'all for watching.